Hey everyone, welcome to Blue Ocean Crypto. My name is Nathan Pay. Today I've got a really awesome new play to earn title to show you guys. In fact, I've got the game guild head deep into this. And I, a lot of people are actually telling me on our gaming division that this is the funnest play to earn game that they've played so far. So that's a pretty bold statement. Um, now, this is part of the Karmaverse metaverse, I guess you could say. So this is really the first of many games that they plan on developing and releasing. I guess you can kind of compare it a little bit to Gala games, but they're just doing everything right in a way. Now it is available on the app and Google Play Store. It works great on mobile. That's definitely the way I recommend you experience it. Of course, it could be played through emulators and blue stacks and all that stuff, but it's just awesome on the phone and the tablet. And just kind of jumping through here, I want to show you guys what it's all about. So it's really straightforward to get uh, sorted. You basically have an account on the website here with the portal, and then you just log in with your associated email on the mobile device. Really easy. Connect your MetaMask. Now you're going to go to Polygon because that's the network that they use. Create an account using your whatever email that you like. Download it. And then, like I said, you just log in with that email. Now, usually you can, I prefer doing a lot of the marketplace stuff on the website, but they did just launch an in-game marketplace. So you can actually even do everything right through the app, which is really cool. And of course, there's a whole bunch of NFTs. There's NFT fighters, there's NFT zombies, NFT ascension materials. And that's kind of what they talk about. It's a blockchain based NFT social game that focuses on the struggle for survival with domination in a post-apocalyptic world infested by zombies and mutants. And they've got this whole story, but basically you've got base building for production, and then you've got the actual battles, which is really like Bejeweled, where it's essentially a match three gem match style game, uh, which was, and generally I don't like those styles of games. I've just always kind of stayed away from them. I didn't find them that entertaining and I am hooked on this one, that's for sure. Uh, so just kind of moving along, you guys can check out the video later if you want to, but here's an example of some of the fighters. There's rarity, color, stats, different skills, there's passives, there's talent trees, there's actually quite a lot going on. And that's something that we're really enjoying about this game quite a bit too, is the further we progress, the more we learn, the better we're getting at understanding how the whole system and all the NFTs and everything works which isn't like a lot of play to earn games. A lot of play to earn games, the first ones that came out were clickers. You logged in, you did a few things, you were done. There wasn't this complexity to it. Uh, so there's definitely a level of nuance to the strategy and complexity of this game that makes it, I think, probably so addictive, <laughs> to be honest. So there's not in Serum, not as their main token. Serum is used as an in-game resource, but it can be purchased just like not can. So for example, if we were to click this, it, it would bring us over to QuickSwap where we can exchange Matic or USDT or USDC on the Polygon network into Serum, put it into the game and use it. Same with the not. And then of course there's the NFTs. So you've got the in-game marketplace and I'll show you guys what that kind of looks like. That's where you're gonna pick up the heroes. Now, something that's interesting to note, you don't have to use an entire team of NFT heroes. There are non-NFT heroes. So you can actually start free to play, play the game with non-NFTs, no worries, you're just not earning anything essentially. And you only actually have to use three out of the five on your team as NFTs in order to get the bonuses, which is nice. And there's some more details on that. Uh, I definitely recommend you check out their YouTube. You can see they have a bunch of tutorials on how to get fighters, basic combat, alliance, and giant battles which is really cool so of course blue ocean games guild we have an alliance on this game once you get to level five you guys are welcome to apply while limited spots are available i know it's probably going to fill up pretty quickly but for now we're not quite full so once you're level five definitely feel free to apply you know hit us up in our score if you need any help or anything like that but once again i love seeing projects really focus on the youtube and the video tutorials it shows me that the, they're really trying to help and it's just nice to get that extra quality of content. Um, okay, so just kind of jumping along here, I wanted to show you guys the portal in the marketplace. So basically, once you're signed in, and I'm already signed in right now, you know, we've got our all the fighters, zombies, and ascension materials that we can look at. Now, if you remember over here, it kind of it showed us what the price of Nod is. So we can use the calculator or just kind of rough guess it. 
guesstimated what some of these would cost. I recommend most people get started with two star heroes. You can do higher, obviously, but you can see the price jumps. You can always sort it. However, when you bring up the details of the hero, or sorry, the fighter, this is what I wanted to show you guys over here. There's a lot going on. You can breed them. So there's seven biolab experiments per fighter. They have all their stats. It talks about special skills. So now all of a sudden you want to try to build a team that complements each other. There's just a lot of strategy to this, which is super cool. And it even showed like, how was that guy made? Actually, these were the two fighters that went together to create him. Uh, also, if you come over here, you can go to your inventory. That'll kind of show you everything that you have. I'm just gonna show you an example of some of the materials. Very easy to transfer. You know, I could transfer some of these to another account or one of our guild members. And that's something that I've really enjoyed about this game. The guild management aspect is very easy. Unlike a lot of other games, which would be quite complicated with tons of different MetaMask accounts and addresses and wallets and hardwares, it, it can get complicated. And, and as you can imagine, as someone who's operating a game guild, that's a lot of time invested, a lot of maintenance, a lot of upkeep. This game definitely simplifies it. Then you can head over to your vault, and this is where you take the serum or the knots that you purchased you know, from Uniswap or wherever else, and then deposit them directly into the game or withdraw vice versa. Now there is a small gas fee, but of course it's on the Polygon network, though not that expensive. Also, here's something that's really cool. They do have a scholar option. So what you can do is add up to 10 scholars on the same account. Usually you'd only do one, but maybe you want people playing at different times and completely control the access they have to your game. So you already have this trustless lending scholar system built directly into their website and their portal. They really did try to focus on being able to facilitate gaming guilds getting involved with this. And that's actually exactly what happened. Um, so to kind of elaborate a little bit, we have to take a look at what Karmaverse is, take a look at the different game guilds and partners that are associated with them or got involved. So firstly, one thing I just want to say, the best way that you guys can help us to continue to make this content and show us that you appreciate it is by slamming that like button. Make sure you subscribe to our channel for all the great play to earn content we have coming out for you guys. You know, we have an entire game guild at our disposal. We look at so many games in the course of a week, there's no reason why we can't be sharing all this with you guys. And that's really what we're trying to do. And we're probably gonna be able to have such a volume come out that we'll be able to blow you guys away. Uh, of course, there's a lot of time invested. We gotta make sure we have the right setup, but that's what we're really pushing for you guys here over the next while. And also why we're trying to do this different studio setup, uh, you know, where we're not shooting in the shoot, shooting in the studio so much, and we're doing uh, more in the office here. But when we take a look, let's jump right into it. When we take a look at Karmaverse, they talk about Karmaverse of all games. They're going to produce a whole series of them. The NFTs are going to be able to be used throughout the different games. And I kind of like this too. You have the Karmaverse zombie being available on the side and all the other games are kind of going to appear here. Talk about the marketplace. How there's Karmaverse zombies is their first one. They're working on Old West World. There's going to be a fantasy game. There's going to be a civilization type game, cyberpunk, space exploration. So it's like they're covering a whole bunch of different genres here. But one thing I got to tell you guys, and I know we're not going to get into it today, the gameplay, the UI, and just how well the game is designed. It's probably one of the best play to earn titles I've seen so far, just for design, like how well they did with the app in the game itself. Uh, and just kind of taking a look at a roadmap here, we can see, you know, they got past this. This was kind of where they first started. Q1 of 2021. You know, obviously they ripped through most of this and hit most of these goals. Now this is kind of where we're still sitting. And uh, we're in Q2 of 2022. So the community tournaments is something that they're first starting to toy with. I think I've even just seen an announcement the other day of one that just happened or is about to happen. Uh, there's alliances are now available, so they've already hit some of these, which is really cool. And then they're talking about incubating other mini games that can take place in the game universe. I'm not too sure what that means, but curious to see. 
Uh, they're going to talk about continuing to decentralize their Karmaverse, which is really cool. That's uh, nice to hear. Uh, adding more community activities. Uh, they're going to roll out this Congress voting system, which is kind of like a DAO, you know, so you can vote. Actually, you can get right to that from their main page and see all the proposals that are being voted on, exactly how DAOs are doing it. There's going to be this Karma Pass and yield farming and staking. Because they show this APY up here, but I can't find the staking pool for the life of me. So I feel like this is just a placeholder right now until this is actually available. Because I've looked, I've, I've even asked them to score like, hey, where's the staking pool? No one's really gotten back to me yet. There's just no information there. So I think this is kind of a placeholder on the website. And then they talk about Q4 of this year, uh, doing basically continuing a lot of the things that they mentioned up here but they want to reveal other game universes as part of the Karmaverse to play. Now, a couple of reasons, a couple of reasons I'm really excited about this too is the partners and people who are involved. So let's just scroll down here. And if you're familiar in the play to earn space, a lot of these titles right away you can identify, right? Look at YGGC, we've got Polygon Studios, there's Hashkey, Anti Capital, LD Capital, familiar with those guys. Trust Swap, GGG, Good Games Guild, Liberty Gaming Guild, Avocado Guild. It's kind of like a lot of the top Web3 game guilds just got together and went, okay, let's get involved with this game. And of course, us as a game guild, that shows me that there's a lot of liquidity potentially being invested into this game, which is a good opportunity. And we'll go through kind of the tokenomics and the health of all the token and the market cap and all that stuff in a future video. But it's definitely in a really good place right now, I'll say that. So that's kind of just a quick overview of Karma vs. Zombie. Like I said, our game guild is having a ton of fun playing this. I'm definitely looking forward to showing you guys some gameplay videos, some tips, kind of how to get started. So definitely look forward to that in the coming days. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Until next time, cheers.